Tonight, there's a sad new twist to a tragic story we've been following for more than a month. Crystal Harper lost her father last month to COVID-19, and now our Sean Lay has learned she's lost something else, his belongings that were with him when he went to the hospital. This family lost their father to coronavirus, and they say the hospital then lost his belongings. I said, and, and I, I, I said, I lost my father. I said, and, I, and, and now you're telling me you lost his belongings? That's the voice of Crystal Harper. We followed her father James's coronavirus battle from the very start. The 80-year-old went to Sinai Grace Hospital March 14th. Ten days later, he did not make it. With the family grieving, they're also upset that Mr. Harper's personal belongings are now missing from the hospital. His clothes, glasses, iPad, and his Bible. Crystal's sister works for the DMC and said all of the items would be logged in. Security traced their every move within the facility until Mr. Harper passed away. And now those items are somehow lost. I told her the Bible was more important than anything. You know, my father, he asked for her Bible and, and, you know, his Bible that he always carried. And that's more sentimental and more important than anything. The Bible, I told her, if you can give me the Bible back, I'm not looking for no type of refund. It was just the sentimental things, but the only thing they could refund was the, the iPad. We are also hearing from other families whose loved ones passed away at Sinai Grace and their belongings are also missing. A hospital so overwhelmed that bodies were being stacked up wherever room could be found inside. Tonight, a member of the Sinai Grace Community Advisory Board tells us the hospital is vital to the west side of Detroit, an area hit hard by COVID-19, and it is working hard to correct its issues. Sinai Grace has been working hard to be the best hospital they can be. They have walked us through the hospital and shown us what they are doing to make changes. And again, the family says the hospital has agreed to replace the cost of the iPad that was lost, but it's the Bible they were hoping to also get back. In Detroit, Sean Lake, Local 4. All right, Sean, we reached out to the hospital for comment, and they sent us this statement, and here is the quote. After reviewing our internal process for holding personal belongings of patients, we have not yet been able to locate Mr. Harper's belongings. We have offered our sincere apologies to the family. We are working with them to resolve the issue. We expend our, extend rather our deepest sympathies to the family for the loss of their loved one.